and girls, and welcome to Kids Camp Creation Crafts. We're so glad you're joining us today. Are you ready for some craft fun? We sure like crafts. We're your hosts. I'm Miss Susie. And I'm Mr. Ryan. We're so glad that you've joined us, and we have a bunch of blue students here with us. Are you guys ready to make some crafts today? Yeah! All right, this will be great. Well, to help us along, we actually have a few referees that will help us. Come on, ladies. Thanks for joining us today. They're going to help us maybe help the kids make some of our craft today and help us with some microphones and whatever else we need some help. So it's always great to have extra hands when you're doing crafts. All right. Well, well today we're going to just follow some directions that Miss Susie is going to give us. And so what are we going to make today? Well, today we are going to be making slime. Ooh. But not only slime. This is some fun stuff to play with. It is, well, if I get my magnet stuck to my frame. <laughs> All right, it's so magnetic. We are gonna be playing with some magnetic slime. Wow, that is really awesome. Isn't that cool? I don't know if you boys and girls can see that. Can you see that? Yes, it's magnetic slime. We're gonna have some fun with that. So there's what? a special ingredient there to make it magnetic. There is, it's called iron oxide. Yes. Well, what is our Bible verse that goes with this today? That's right. We always want to connect our craft to something in, our, in Scripture so we can learn something and remember it. So when you're playing with slime, you can say, oh, I wonder what we were supposed to learn. So the lesson and the verse that we're going to learn today is from Mark uh, chapter 8, verse 34. And this is about following Jesus. And you'll see that when we do this craft. And it says, Jesus called the crowd of people and his, and his disciples and he said to them, if anyone wants to follow me, he must deny himself, pick up his cross, and follow me. Those are some of Jesus' greatest words. He said, follow me. Oh, we're going to see how the slime follows the magnet here today. Are you guys ready to make some magnetic slime? Yeah! All right. All right. Who's ready to craft? Me! All right. Okay, so to begin, we are going to start with some regular School glue, something like this, just some white liquid school glue. Our next craft, or I'm sorry, our next ingredient is going to be water. Just regular tap water will do. Our next ingredient is going to be iron oxide. This is what makes it magnetic. Okay, we have some in our little cups. And the next thing we're going to have is liquid starch. When we add the liquid starch, this is when all the stuff happens, all the chemistry. This is some really good chemistry, boys and girls. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our glue. So kids, if you find your cup that starts with a G, that is our glue. We're going to go ahead and dump it in our bowl, and you can use your spoons to scoop it out. Get all that you can. You don't have to get all of it, but get most of it. Yeah, try to get all of it right. You can make as much as possible. Yes, that's right. Okay, now once we have our glue in there, our next step will be to add our water. This just dilutes the glue a little bit. So go ahead and add your water. It'll be the cup labeled with a W. So we're going to add that. Now I would like you to go ahead and stir it up. Oh, this is some good chemistry in here. And mix it. You want to kind of gently stir so we're not sloshing it out of our bowl. We're going to mix, mix, mix. I yeah, think that's something been... we learn in chemistry, right? Yeah, we make I tell, sure you, I, we mix I tell it my up. students, you need to learn how to mix. Mixing is so important. Chemistry doesn't always just happen magically. you got to get in there, add some elbow grease, and mix it around. You want this to look like a really nice milky mixture. So if it starts to look like milk, you're getting close. That's right. So we're just going to keep stirring, keep stirring. Yeah, keep stirring, keep stirring. You guys are getting close. You might have to go a little fast. This is looking good. All right. Great job. Okay. Now, who has made slime before? I have. Wow, you have? I see almost every hand. I see a couple hands. Yes. Lots we, of hands. I think, and you've made it too? All right. But, but now you the question right? is. OK, we've got, a, we've got a, a slime rookie in here, so that's going right. to be great. Well, now the question is, if you've made slime, have you made magnetic slime? Who's made that before? Oh, I see a hand. Oh, what? All, all right. right. OK, now once we have our glue and our water all mixed up, now you're going to take your, yep. your iron oxide. It is in the cup labeled with an M, or we may have written metal on it. Go ahead and pour that in your bowl. Now when you stir this, just be a little careful. We don't want the particles to get airborne. You don't want to breathe that in. 
That should be fine. It looks like fine. charcoal. Now, yeah, it's going to start looking kind of gray. And we're just going to mix, mix, mix. Lots of mixing with this craft. Yeah, get that. You can even try to flip it around. Good job. Make sure you scrape down the get sides. It get it as mixed as much as possible. Get it in there and mix it around. You guys are doing good. Now, Miss Susie, do we always have to put uh, mag uh, the magnetic material in there, or could we add something else? You don't. You can even add color. If Now, the iron oxide will make it black, just like in our sample over here. But you could also add some food coloring to give it whatever color you want if you're not using the iron oxide. If you use the iron oxide, then it will be black. Okay, now everybody's is it getting mixed. Ms. Susie, yeah. is it okay if we uh, do the iron oxide later or is it important to do it at this step? It's important to do it in this step and you'll see why when we add our starch. Well, I wanted to ask some of the, our young people, what are some ingredients have you put into slime before? Do we have anybody? Borax oh, in mine. It's sort of like this activator that makes it slime. Wow. Very she good. is a good little chemist here. Yes, that's right. Is. In the starch, actually, there is some borax or borate, and that's what helps link it all together to make the slime. So there's detergents. You can use borax. What have you used? Well, here, let's see. What have you used before? I can't. Solution. Eye contact solution. Oh, yep. You can I make didn't it know with if that, that as had well. in it, so I'm, I'm learning something new. There are many different ways you can make slime, and using contact solution is one of them. All right, you guys are doing great. This is an important step that you want to get yeah, all Yes, so we want to make nice sure we get it all mixed, mixed up. Make sure. What have you see used here? Before, we've got Oliver? some. Uh, Sometimes my grandma puts a little jello in it to make, make sure it squishy. Oh, a little jello. Okay. I like that. Don't eat this though. I mean, when I hear Jello, it's like, oh, I want to eat it. So don't eat this stuff. All right. I've seen some YouTube videos. They make slime out of candy. Woo! Slime out of candy. That would be fun. Yeah, there are some special recipes. That's not this one. Okay. Okay. I think we're ready for our next step. I think so. Okay. So go ahead and grab your starch, your liquid starch. And this actually has the borate in it. Mm -hmm. And this is going to make it all polymerize and it's going to get all thick and congealed. So go ahead and pour that in there and you want to start stirring right away. You're doing great. See how and it's you're going to stir, stir, stir. Oh, this is when it starts to get. And it's going to start getting really jelly like. Gumble. Isn't together. that fun looking? Wow, good job. All right, can you see Whoa. that, boys and girls at home? It's going to get really kind of thick and jelly-like. Pretty soon, we're going to have you get your fingers in there. That's and right. Get a little messy. Right, you guys are doing great. See, good mixing, good That's stirring. Right. This is where the magic's happening. The little molecules are getting knitted together. How's it going we're making over Making these long yeah. polymer strands. All right, yep, you got a good little ball of goo there. Whoa. How's it going over here, girls? Just keep stirring, keep stirring. So what are some other interesting things that you have put into slime before? My friends have the gummy, so they um, microwave gummy bears and then they put the gummy bear stuff in it. Wow, gummy bears. That's some interesting <laughs> That's ingredients. That's a very interesting thing to add. Yes. Wow. There are a lot of fun recipes out there, but you mainly just need the glue and the borate. You can borate. use the... And borax, there's a lot of different names for it. It'll do the same thing. Okay, the next step, once you get it all congealed together like this, um, it helps to actually just work it with your hands. You're gonna kind of stretch it and knead it. So here's where we get to get kind of dirty and it gets to feel all icky and gooey. You so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of stretch there it and work it out just like this. Yep, the more you work it. The more you work it, the better the it'll better get it'll and feel. Out. So it'll be a little sticky. But as you keep working it, we'll get to a really good consistency. Yep, get right in there. Try to pull it and stretch it. How does Ooh. this feel? Weird. Oh. oh, it does. It's all slimy. But that's in the name, right? We're making slime. It's definitely in all the right. slime part of it here. Oh, Yours is wow. looking pretty good there. Yep, just keep working it. Oh, you put a little bit more starch in there. <laughs> That's fine. She had yeah. a little bit extra. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
The starch will help make it a little bit more brittle. So if you think it's too slimy, you can add just a little yep, bit more starch. A little starch. bit at a time. Yeah. Keep working it, playing it around. And when it starts to dry, boys and girls, we can use a little bit. We can get to the magnets here pretty soon, but not yet. We got to work all that iron oxide in there. Where'd you find that iron oxide? Ms. Oh, Susie? you can order it on online. You can find it. It's called iron oxide. And it comes in a little powder of little metal filings. Yeah, it looks a lot like charcoal, but very different. It does, yes. All right, so it can be a little messy. That's okay. Well, thanks for making me all this slime, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, it's not for me? No, oh, no, this would be for you to go and mess up your, uh, right. your homes. No. <laughs> we hope you'll be clean when you go and play with this at home. Yeah, keep working it in there. We're gonna, is your hands getting cleaner? Are they getting a little no. cleaner? <laughs> the more, just I think keep, a few of them are getting keep working cleaner. It. You gotta work it with your hands, okay? Mine's getting you cleaner oh, each sure. time I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get it there. Oh. Keep working oh, it. Oh yeah, we gotta keep working that. Whoa. My hand's getting clean. Yeah, that so is really oh. slimy. Oh. It's always good to play with this on a I hard surface. <laughs> Because it will stick to carpet and clothing, and you don't want to get it Ooh. in your clothes. Well, can I work with it some more here? If the more you work with it, here it'll. Yeah. It'll come. It'll help work your. Uh, the slime okay. Off at your this hands. point, we should have a pretty good consistency. You can watch it fall. Oh. <laughs> that really sticky, isn't it? All right, and you can clean up your bowl. You guys are doing great. All right, now Let's I see how it's going up here, though. Oh, what? Oh, you guys are gonna get me all slimy <laughs> all here. Right. Oh. Okay. Now I think we should get our magnets out. Okay. Should we see if our uh, magnets will attract our slime? Okay. So everybody should have a little <gasps> magnet. This Whoa. is a neodymium magnet. They're very strong. Okay. So if you want to watch this, we'll see if they. We can Ooh, get it you know what's fun is to just let it. We'll put it on the top and just, just lay it right on top. Oh, it's like it's being eaten so by the slime. Hold on to it, just here, like that. Here's a little bit more here. Is your magnet in there already? All right. <laughs> she hid her magnet in there. This is also kind but of fun to right see. Out, Chad, I don't know if you can get in here and see this, but this will just eat the magnet right up. Oh, it's fun to get in there and get Can slimy. Can you see that? It I completely engulfs this, it. Yeah. I wonder how this connects with our Bible verse. Jesus said to follow him. Oh, oh you think the magnet's following the slime? Did you get to play with your magnet? Oh, I think the slime's right, following where is the it? magnet. Oh, is it in there? Very right. good. You should be able to pull that out. Boy, we're getting out of time here already. Yes, we time are goes getting out of time. Really fast when well, we're Well, we've had a, a lot of fun here on Creation Crafts, where scripture inspires creativity.